Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do click like, share, and subscribe. And personal reading links are below the video in the description box. All right, Virgo. So remember the messages are um, general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And um, yeah, let's take a look at your singles reading. Today is November 13th as I'm recording this. And this will be for um, this time period, November 13th through December 13th. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of cards. Hi, everybody in the chat. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a look at your love messages from Romance Angels. What are the messages from the Romance Angels for Virgo? Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Okay, good. Very good. Give a relationship a chance, Virgo. Single Virgos. <clears throat> and there's attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. And that's kind of like while you're by yourself, doing the things you enjoy to do, when no one's watching, um, just attracting love by living in the present, by not trying to seek love or search for love. You just attract that which you are, that you attract who you are, okay? So I just feel like some of you might be, you know, just walking down the street, maybe you're in a store smelling some candles and you're just doing your own thing and somebody sees you. Okay, that's very specific, let me see. Okay, forgiving and learning, letting go of the past. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's get started with the singles and see if these messages here tie in. So the first, whoa, first question I'm going to ask is how will you know if you are ready for a new relationship? Okay, how will Virgo know if they are ready for a new relationship? What signs will Virgo have? How will they know? Ooh, okay, tower in reverse. Um, well, this is about averting disaster, Virgo. This is about avoiding tragedy. So it seems to me like, um, well, some of you might be a little avoidant, so you might not be quite ready. And for others, you know what to look out for, okay? You know when the tower or something could be a tower moment when the tower in the upright represents something crashing down things falling apart unwanted change and of course there are things in life that you can't avoid but you can be specific and you can spend more time getting to know someone before your feelings get involved so Averting disaster would be meeting someone and creating a soul tie before you even know them, okay? Because that happens. And if you don't know what creating a soul tie means, I suggest you look that up, okay? Because that happens a lot of times where intimacy, physical intimacy, can get in the way of our ability to think clearly and our feelings overtake us in making our decisions. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like a lot of you have learned that before you're going to give yourself, you want to make sure that this is going to be the person for you. So, and I feel like a lot of you are maybe a little more hypersensitive because of being burned in the past. Not all of you, some of you, I should say, not, not a lot of you, but some of you are definitely going to try to avoid any losses going forward if you can. Okay. Um, so I do feel like you, you're, you're ready. I do. Now, there are a percentage of you that I do feel like you're in an avoidant trap um, because you're fearful of getting hurt. So if that resonates for you, kind of like, I don't know, recognize that and see if that's true for you and in what ways you can try to get yourself a little more secure in the playing field here. Okay, so... Let's see, what are the characteristics, the good and the bad, of your potential lover? Okay, let's see. Characteristics, good and the bad, of your potential lover. Okay. All right, the good is that this potential lover. So for some of you, it could be a Scorpio, also could be Aquarius. Um, 
So the good is that this person seeks peaceful resolution and is willing to compromise. There's good communication, and this person is very good at ending any kind of conflicts, right? So if there's arguments or disagreements of some sort, I feel like this person seeks peace to try to resolve problems, which means to me that they're a good listener. I don't feel like this person um, will come across as somebody who's like a bully or abusive or something along those lines. I feel like this person will listen and hear you out and you will be able to do the same, of course, because they're gonna be doing that. And I feel like this person will come forward. Um, whoever you meet next will have a, they'll listen and they'll say, okay, what can we do to solve this problem? Rather than fighting back, rather than shutting you out, things like that, they'll be open to solving and resolving problems. Okay, so that's very positive. I love that. Okay, the bad is that this person may have a little bit of, um, they might lack a little bit of confidence. They may lack a little bit of growth as they're going through their own changes in life. Um, like some of you <clears throat> might be further ahead or further along in the healing process which doesn't mean that that person's lacking fully, but I feel like they, so that's Libra energy. So this person might be um, a little, they could have a little bit of negligence at times because of their insecurities. I don't really like to say good and bad. You know, I just like to say, um, sometimes people operate out of their strengths and sometimes they operate out of their weaknesses this person's strong point is that they're willing to solve any problems but they might be a little dependent as well when they're operating out of their weak so they might be over willing <laughs> to solve problems because of a fear insecurity of um losing you you know, um, I don't even know if that's a bad thing, but they could be a little anxious as well, which, you know, it is what it is, okay? They might be a little bit overbearing at times, like where if you say, I just kind of see you kind of being like, okay, well, we have this problem, we have this argument, and you might just want to go into hermit mode and not really resolve the problem right now. Maybe you want to cool off. And then this person kind of is like chases you down. No, let's fix the problem. I want to hear it. Talk to me. Talk to me. And so to you, that might be a little bit like, okay, listen, <laughs> just uh, let me go in the bathroom. <laughs> let me just go get a shower. Um, let me just go for a walk. I got, let me just run to the gym until I cool off, you know, and this person might be like, no, I don't want you to go. I want to talk about it. Some of you are going to get like the opposite of what you had before, you know, like they're going to keep calling you and maybe lack a little bit of understanding that you need a little bit of space sometimes. And, you know, that's where you got to step up and be like, listen, I promise you that we will have the conversation about an hour and we'll talk it through. I just need a little, sp a little space to calm down and figure out what I need to do um, or get, gather my thoughts so I don't trip over my words or say the wrong thing. Okay, now Leo energy just popped out. Strength in reverse. Yeah, a lot of vulnerability and self-doubt. Okay, lacking a little bit of confidence, feeling inadequate. So I do feel like this person, <clears throat> yeah, you know, you're going to have, I feel like this can be some, there's going to be like a role reversal for some of you. Some of you might have been in the past, like chase somebody down to try to resolve problems and somebody was avoidant. You might be a little bit, or at least come across a little bit avoidant because this person may push you a little to be kind of like, I need a little space. You know what I mean? Um, there's a little bit of a balance here though. So I don't think it's really all that bad. Okay. Um, not it's not horrific okay because the plus side is that I feel like they will want to try to communicate and sort things out <laughs> oh my goodness okay let's get to the good question here number three how will you meet each other how will you meet each other okay how will Virgo meet the potential lover
Some of you can meet this person while you're moving. Some of you might be moving house or carrying groceries. You can have something in your arms. You could be carrying something, maybe a box, something kind of like weighted. Maybe you'll meet this person at the gym. <laughs> a little bit weighted, you know what I mean? Um, so uh, when I say how, I just feel like the description, that's Sagittarius right there. I just feel like this description is, um, it's not a where, it's kind of a how. So I feel like you will be carrying something pretty heavy, maybe a child. It's just, something, you know, that's, that's the energy you will be in when you meet them, okay? Or they will be helping you carry something. Let me see. Could be like uphill. You could be running uphill, maybe doing something with weights as well. Um, some of you might be on a horse. <laughs> just just give me a horse. <laughs> or somewhere where there's horses. Or doing something with a horse. Okay. Um, doing some kind of work. Some physical work is what, I, what I, I'm seeing here. They might offer to help you with something or carry your school books. <laughs> carry something for you. Okay, let me see. I don't know, they're giving me another message. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. This is so, <laughs> it's crazy. Piscean energy. Um, the Eight of Cups in Reverse, I'm just feeling like you have to do something, okay? And you're accepting the fact that you have to do this and it's, that I'm just picking up some moving, some moving energy, maybe moving your office, or, or carrying something and, and it's like you have to carry all this these, these either person like a child or, or um, moving to another place or carrying some kind of thing and it's like oh, this is going to be really difficult I don't know if I can do this myself some of you might be trying to change your tire and somebody comes and offers help okay um, let me see You could be carrying heavy trays. Maybe there's catering involved or some type of restaurant thing. Okay, this is so interesting. I feel like this reading is going to be a little short. All right, what will be the characteristics or dynamics of this potential relationship? So most of, uh, let me just summarize real quick. For most of you, it'll be in a working environment. That's kind of what I feel like. They'll be in a working where you will be working, where they will be working, where you both will be in the same place or during a work day or work hours. Okay. So what will be the characteristics of this potential relationship? Okay. There's a stubborn energy to it. Yeah. A little bit of a stubbornness. I mean... But I feel like it's going to come from your side just a bit, just a bit, not a lot. Um, and a little bit of defensiveness. I feel like a little bit of defensiveness, but there won't be any isolation. Like I was saying before, I feel like that might grate on your nerves a little bit, <laughs> a little. It's not horrible, but I feel like... Um, you might be a little defensive or feel like somebody's invading your space a tad bit, just a little. But I see like um, you having faith and uh, there's a faithfulness to the connection. Okay, uh, a faithfulness. Um, somebody won't wanna let you down and they'll go overboard above and beyond to try to not have problems or lose the relationship, okay? They might, they might, so this feels like an energy of someone over giving. Okay. But I also feel like you guys will be able to resolve definitely. If you're able to get a little bit of space that you need after some disagreement or something, right? Because with that tower in reverse, I do feel like you will try to avoid, like I said, any kind of disasters. And for some of you, that might be along the lines of like, okay, like I said earlier, 
you gotta go into the bathroom or you go into the other room, you gotta go take a walk or something like that. But I do see you guys actually resolving the problems, making decisions to come to a truce and settling on a path which is very, very good. I see a lot of facing fear, so it'd be very good communication. Um, and an ability to like talk about painful decisions or things in the connection. Um, maybe even someone communicating, you know, um, about this difficulty in expressing or opening up or making a decision based on intuition okay um that's libra energy there again i'm also picking up taurus let me see what other characteristics or dynamics okay well hmm. i'm just seeing a lot of love letters i'm seeing love letters love texts i'm seeing a lot of sweetness. I'm seeing crush energy, kind of like a lot of um, exciting plans that will get made between you and this person. I'm seeing a lot of fun and playfulness as well, enjoying each other, telling jokes, getting each other, understanding each other's witty, wry, dry sense of humor, cheerful, childlike fun, active. It will be a very active relationship and optimistic, full of energy, a lot of sharing back and forth of bright ideas, okay, and a lot of creativity as well. So, you know, it just kind of feels like um, somebody here that your potential person, that's Sagittarius energy again, I believe you're twice, Sagittarius twice, whoever this person is, I feel like you're ready, Virgo, you are, but you're very cautious, you'll be very cautious. Let me see one more. Oh, lovely. Six of Cups. Charity. Very giving energy in this relationship. Reciprocity. I love it. A lot of gifts given and received. Um, a feeling of community. Getting along with others. Spending time with others. Being out in the open and public. Helping others. You both might endeavor to work through charitable organizations together. Um, a lot of assistance and support back and forth. Su uh, support in employment as well. Financial uh, sharing, kindness, prosperity. Um, it's very nice. I feel like there's a lot of like giving and receiving and taking turns and supporting one another. I just love it. This is wonderful. All right, let me see. What is the potential, a possible outcome of this relationship, this dating connection with someone? Okay. Virgo, I feel like when you meet this person, it may seem a little off-putting at first. If there's like the first argument or some sort, and it may seem off-putting, and you may need to take you, you know, get a little time away to sort it out. But I really feel like this is worth giving a chance to when you meet this person. Okay, potential or possible outcome of this relationship. Hmm. Okay. As long as you both can avoid spying or a lack of trust or arguments, as long as you both can be vigilant and fair, protective of one another and think before you speak, you can have peace and balance. This feels very soulmate with temperance, Sagittarius once again, and also Gemini. This feels very balanced. You can have that, but there has to be an element of patience that's needed with each other okay understanding acceptance and being patient with one another and allowing the other person and they allowing you to have full agency and autonomy um and 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 withdrawing from questioning 
um, with hypersensitivity with who you're talking to or looking people up online too much because of a fear of abandonment or rejection. If you can avoid that, and I'm talking about like hyper, like if you're hyper vigilant about that and because that's, you're just going to create problems where problems might not exist. Just deal with the facts and the evidence. You got to kind of act like a lawyer, you know, only allow the facts and evidence that come to you. Don't go looking for trouble. Don't go digging up skeletons. Everybody's got skeletons. They will be revealed in time. Um, I feel like this this connection, this is a soulmate card. It feels like a very harmonious relationship as an outcome. Okay. Um, I love it, Virgo. Let me see if I can get a Chinese sign. Because I did name some signs. Um, let me see if I can get a Chinese sign for you. Chinese sign here. Who's Virgo's person? What is the Chinese sign they're going to connect with? Okay, it could be a monkey, a tiger, dragon, a snake, an ox, a goat. That's tiger again. A rabbit, one more. And a pig. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. And let me just get a couple of island time cards. And then I'm going to end your reading. So, yeah. Singles reading tonight. Pretty simple. So I do feel like you are going to, you know, you're going to be actually attracting someone to you. Okay. I don't feel like you're going to have to go out seeking. I feel like somebody's going to see you. Um, while you're in the middle of doing whatever it is that you're doing sometime between now. I can get a date though. Let me see if we can get a date between November 13th and December 13th. Okay, let's see real quick. I don't time message. Oh, the snake. It's definitely going to be a snake. Definitely going to be a snake. I'm not going into the details. Okay, this is going to be someone who um, this relationship it's going to teach you a lot. It's going to help you heal because there's going to be a reflecting back between each other. What you see in this person, you're going to see in yourself. Their wounds, you're going to see yours. You know, um, their their beauty and their positivity, you're going to see in yourself. You know, there's a lot of reflecting and understanding. And I love that, you know. I love that. This person is going to reflect back to you not only the struggles and your weaknesses, but also your strengths. But it's not going to be horrific like a twin flame. <laughs> Lots of abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. This is nice, Virgo. All right, let me see if I can get like a date. What else comes up? <clears throat> okay, we have Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, okay. I'm gonna choose one here. Okay. December 8th. It's gonna be a connection. December 8th will be a Thursday. So it'll be a Thursday. Just one more. Oh, Capricorn just fell out. Okay. About 6 p.m. 6.40 p.m. So it's going to be sometime maybe at night. It could be in the morning if you're one of those people who's up and about and working and you're like really moving something or doing something at 6.40 a.m. Um, but I feel like it's going to be sometime around night, like Thursday evening, December 8th. I'm going to connect to this person. Um so yeah, Virgo, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. I hope that that was helpful and gave you a little bit of excitement and enthusiasm for the holidays. It's cuffing season, so I do feel like you're going to connect with someone for sure. Um, so yeah, definitely leave a thumbs up before you leave. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Do check that out and I will see you guys back here on Monday evening, November 14th for your much longer read. All right, you guys, love you. Have a great evening and a great day. Take care.